Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap accent on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press release on the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments. Wednesday, July the 27th, debt ceiling concerns continue to hang over our heads. I think every American, pretty much any investor around the world would strangle uh, Boehner and Obama today if they could. Get it done, guys. It's getting ridiculous. Uh, clean up your house. I mean, that's a little personal rant. I got six press releases for you. I'm going to go through them on a summary basis because there's a lot of good news today. First off, Marathon Gold, MOZ on the big board, TSX. They hit 2.18 grams ton of gold over 32.2 meters, including 11.36 grams over 2.8 meters. The company calls this substantial success. Uh, it is being achieved in the company's goal of expanding and defining the Leprechaun Gold Deposit. Uh, President uh, Phil Walford said the wide interval of high-grade mineralization intersected during infill drilling confirmed the continuity of the main zone. At the same time, the step-out drill holes confirmed the continued expansion of our current resource. They closed yesterday at $1.28, 207 on the high, a dollar on the low, closer to the, the lower end of their 52-week trading range. A lot of volatility. Marathon today, uh, unchanged right now, no volume. Bid ask is a dollar nineteen, dollar twenty eight. So it's going to be hard to find out where they're going to open. Uh, Black Iron Inc. Uh, TSX BKI announced that three additional twelve twin holes have hit grades exceeding uh, thirty two percent iron. This is from their iron ore project in the Ukraine. Uh, in that success, they also included one hundred seven meters grading thirty four point eight percent iron. George Mover, CEO of the company, said results. From the twin hole program, continue to validate the historical work completed. I always like when I see historical work that's being verified, uh, so that's good to see. This project contains a 4301 compliant resource of uh, 345 million tons measured and indicated uh, resources, grading 32% iron, 469 of inferred resources, grading 31% iron, uh, and the project is surrounded by five other operating mines. Close yesterday, $1.05. A dollar fifty-nine the high, seventy cents on the low. Again, volatility. Black iron today though up three percent uh, on, uh, to a dollar eight on only a thousand shares, but it's still early because we always do this at the open. Jaden Resources TSX JDN uh, announced their first 2011 uh, drill results from their silver corn project. Two point six seven grams of gold over sixteen point four meters, including ten point seven grams over three meters. These are results. Uh, I like this from the first seventeen holes received from a planned 15,000-meter, uh, 100-hole drill program at Silvercoin. 80% of that is infill, which means they're trying to uh, upgrade, and they go on to say they're trying to upgrade the existing inferred resource to the measured and indicated categories. There's a 43101 compliant resources at Silvercoin, uh, which is located in the Stewart Camp, uh, northern British Columbia. Closed yesterday, 16 cents, 39 the high, 11 on the 52-week low. A lot of volatility there again. Uh, this morning, Jaden is unchanged. 30,000 shares have traded hands already, uh, but it's unchanged right now. Not a shocker considering we're in the, uh, at the end of July. Advanced Exploration, TSX Venture, AXI for our friends in Germany, AE6, announced that they hit 264 meters of 33% iron. More iron stories today, including 9 meters of 50% iron. This from the Took Two project uh, located in Nunavut, Canada. John Gingrich, President and CEO, put some uh, commentary to this and said this is a very significant discovery, represents some of the highest grade iron we have found. Unfortunately, the hole terminated within high grade BIF and thus the full extent is not known. I don't know if that's unfortunate. It means they ended off with high grade. They're going to have to go deeper to figure it out. So that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good thing. Uh, the Roche Bay Iron Ore Project is one of the world's largest developing iron ore districts, according to the company, and the project that they have is an indicator resource of 323 million tons. Uh, close yesterday, 49 cents, dollar three uh, on the high, 17 on the 52 week low. Again, volatility crazy. Today, nice move, 8% up on 93,000 shares already. Market likes news a lot, and the bid ask is heavily on the bid side, uh, so you might want to watch advanced expiration today and going forward. Uh, next up, Quantum Rare Earth. Uh, TSX Venture, QRE, for our friends in the U.S., QRE, DF, and for our friends in Frankfurt, BR3. Uh, they announced that they intercepted 54 meters of 1.17% neobium, it looks like. This from Elk Creek Neobium uh, Project in southern Nebraska, sorry, southeastern Nebraska, which is in the U.S. The company says they've also identified a significant zone of middle and heavy rare earth mineralization. Closed yesterday, 26 cents, 
72 on the high, 22 on the 52-week low. A lot of carnage still going on in the uh, small cap resources space. This morning, it looks like Quantum is up half a penny, up 2%. It is 141,000 shares, though, and the bid is heavily outweighing the ask right now. Uh, so a good time to be looking for value. If they're close to the 52-week uh, bottom, uh, maybe a good time. Not a guarantee it might go lower, but it's always a good time to take a look, uh, catching it uh, near the bottom as opposed to near the top. And finally, uh, something a little bit out there, Clear Sky Solar Trades, uh, CSKH in the U.S., announced that they broke $4 million in sales for June. That's a renewable energy provider to commercial, industrial, and agri agriculture clients. They say they reached over $1 megawatt or $4 million in customer signed contracts for the month of June. They also say they have approximately eight projects under construction at different stages, varying in size from a residential 4 kilowatt to several commercial facilities of 160 and 250 kilowatts, respectively. Sounds big. It sounds great. Here's the caveat. They closed yesterday at two and a half cents. Uh, and the 52 trade arrangement, six and a half on the high, 1.8 on the low. Mark cap right now is just five point, just five million dollars. Uh, clear skies today. Uh, trade 70,000 shares up by 1.12 percent. The numbers don't add up. It doesn't necessarily mean the story isn't real. There's either something else going on, or we may have found an undiscovered gem that very few people know about that are really succeeding, and you may have to go take a closer look. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. Six great companies. You know what to do if you're on Globe Investor. You know what to do if you're on Agoracom. The show's gone long enough. Have a fantastic day. See you tomorrow.